Okay, today I'm going to show how to remove the lime scale from an electric water heater. And first thing you want to do, of course, turn off the power uh, at the breaker box. And then, uh, if you're still not sure, get an electrical tester. Test your leads and make sure that it's off before you attempt to remove the wires from the uh, connectors on the on the screw-in heater coil. So, and these are right here on the tank. So, make sure your power is turned off first. Second thing we're going to do: hook a hook a hose to the uh, to the drain valve. Okay, when you get your uh, hose hooked up to the, uh, to the uh, drain valve, and go ahead and just turn your, turn your valve on, and it may not start to drain because uh, there's no uh, water or air, rather, coming in to allow the water to escape. Another thing that might happen is the lime scale might actually block the valve and and cause uh, either plug or to seriously slow down the, the drain. You'll be able to find out uh, at the other end of the hose. So, but go ahead and start, uh, turn on, turn on the uh, valve to start draining it. And then you may want to turn on, open up a, a, a valve to allow air to come into the top of the tank until the water level comes down below the first element. When you're pretty sure that that's occurred, then you can start to uh, uh, loosen up the, the, the elements. Okay, once you've got uh, the water drained out, or at least you're reasonably sure that the water is drained out, uh, you're gonna need a one and a half inch socket and a ratchet, and that just fits on the end of this heating element onto the nut here. And then uh, just go ahead and back it on out and watch for water. If any water starts to come out, that means that you're, you haven't got it drained out yet. So just be wary of that. No water comes out, go ahead and remove your, your element. And this is the same type of lime scale that we uh, sucked out of this uh, water heater. We actually did this yesterday, but we're redoing shooting some of this uh, to, to make the video a little bit better. But this, this is uh, this is the lime scale. Some people will uh, actually clean this lime scale off and reuse the element. We're not going to. We're just going to twenty bucks. We're just putting in new elements. Okay, as you can see here, the inside of the tank is convex. The lime scale deposits have accumulated all the way up to the heating element. We created some special vacuum wands. Uh, to use with the wet dry vac to remove these lime scale sediments. Okay, I'm going to try to run down real quick through the uh, through the tools that we fashioned to get this lime scale uh, deposits out of the hot water tank. First thing I uh, got was a uh, one inch piece of PVC, a small little piece about two inches long, a one inch coupler, and then a one inch to three quarter inch reducer and then uh, heated this up just a little bit so that it would expand over and uh, allow the the uh, vacuum tube to be pushed up into it away as it works great nice and tight the other things were two three quarter inch pieces of uh, PVC tube one just straight whacked off at an angle that was used to get the top layer of the lime scale sediment and then I heated this other three-quarter inch tube up put some bends on it and that was to get down along these edges along the sides of the tank this worked pretty good uh, except uh, where the buckles were um, kind of restricted flow a little bit and I have to tap it sometimes to get the lime scale to pass on through and then the other thing was this one here was a little bit wide and it bound a little bit in the hole in the uh, heater element hole. What worked better was this weed whacker uh, 
uh, tube and you can see it doesn't have any buckles in it uh, all I had to do is put a little bit of tape on on uh, on the end and it fit nice and tight into our adapter this really really worked well the only other tool was this uh, meat hook that I used uh, to uh, scrape away right in front of the tank to kind of push the lime scale back where we could pick it up with the uh, with the curb too. You could use a piece of rebar or any kind of steel steel stock. This thing really worked good. Okay, so this is our lime scale dump out. And we kind of show what we what we got. Still a little bit inside here, but got the idea. This all this was lime scale was around the bottom of that tank. And uh, we sucked all this out in about a half hour with the wet back. And came out pretty good. Okay, uh, your new element should come with a little gasket. And that seat's in right here. And in order to get a nice seat, uh, I just use a battery cable cleaner and clean this out real good and make sure that it is nice and clean. You might want to take a rag after you after you do that. After you get it uh, scrubbed out with the wire brush, and then just go ahead and put that gasket back on your on your new element and screw that thing in. And you don't have to get it super tight, but get it tight enough. Get it tight enough to. Uh, so it doesn't leak. Okay, like I said, we actually cleaned this tank yesterday, um, and I've got one. I've got a shot that shows how much lime scale we sucked out of this thing. It was probably a gallon, gallon and a half of lime scale, and uh, we just finished it up with this new wand that worked really nice. Again, just the end of a weed eater. Uh, you could probably also uh, just go to the hardware store and get some like some three-quarter inch conduit and have them put a have them put a bend on it uh, you know like about like what was shown and uh, and then cut an angle on the end of that conduit and uh, and that's all you need and it works great so uh, so that's it that's it that's all there is to it thanks for watching <laughs>